Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a haul video for you guys today. It is going to be the Nordstrom anniversary sale, a few things that I got from there, a few things from Target, and then a few things from Flying Tiger, which I'll talk about in a minute. Where I've been MIA, I've had the busiest summer, and this is the first weekend that I don't have anything, uh, meaning like there's no wedding or bachelorette party or a shower. Uh, or I'm not away, uh, so I'm just trying to get ready for Sri Lanka, which is in two weeks from tomorrow, which is really crazy. I can't believe it's already here. So I went to Target today at City Center in Brooklyn. Uh, there's um, an Alamo Draft House, a Trader Joe's, a food market downstairs, uh, and then a Target and Flying Tiger. So I kind of just hit up some spots, got some sample stuff for my trip. Uh, I'll just show you the pertinent things. So. First, I want to talk about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's now over. Um, every, I think everybody knows about this sale. It's very popular on YouTube. I think it's a good sale. It's fun because they reduce prices of new items. So you can get, you know, something that's coming out for fall a little bit cheaper. It's always hit or miss for me. I don't have a Nordstrom nearby, so I have to kind of order things online. I think I spent $1,500 online. And I probably only kept... Well, I, I kept five things, none of which are clothes, one pair of shoes, and that's it. So I, you know, like, it's just hit or miss. So I just kind of, like, order stuff and see how it goes. I returned most already. But uh, the first thing that I got, I, I placed, like, three orders on there. And the first thing I got that I love and I'm keeping and I've worn already are a new pair of Nike sneakers. I, I'm really into these. I, these are the women's Nike Air Max Thea, and they are really, really fun. They originally were $115. I think that they were $75 when I got them. Uh, so I've worn them once before. They are just black Nikes, and they are leather and uh, like something synthetic fabric. So it says leather upper. So the Nike Airs have like a larger sole on the bottom with this weird air pocket that looks like a leveler to me. Uh, I have a friend that's very much into shoes, so he could tell you about these better than I could. But I just like them because they were all black. It was very discreet, the Nike symbol. I don't really like things with logos glaring out. Uh, these I just like because I could wear them in the summertime with like a skirt or dress or, you know, just like doing errands and stuff like that. So I really like the black leather. I like this um, gum toe or whatever you want to call it. And so the uh, front is like a smooth leather and then on the side is sort of like a rattlesnake kind of leather. And I just really love them. So got those, these are size nine. I usually run a little like Adidas are eight for me and these are nine. So they um, run a little bit small. So absolutely love those. Then everything else is like makeup and accessory type things. The first of which is the Glam Glow uh, Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And this is, this was $99. It's uh, just a gift set that they have. I don't know if it's sold anywhere else, but this, I don't think the price of this gift set went up after the sale. So this is the Glam Glow Super Mud that I currently have. This is either my second or third jar, probably third jar of this. And the typical jar I think is $69 and it comes with 1.2 ounces. The thing I don't love about this container is that it sort of dries up after a while. You can see I still have some in there. It'll still smear on my face, but it's kind of annoying. It's not as soft as it once was. You can soften it up too, I think, with some warm water. But the cap to it never like really goes on all that well. So this is 1.2 ounces for $69. This comes in a squeeze tube, which is amazing because then you can just take out what you need and then you don't have to dip your fingers into it, make it unsanitary, uh, but also it it's just going to stay a lot better. And this is 3.5 ounces. So you're getting almost three times as much as this for $99. It also comes with an application brush, which I usually just apply this with my fingers. But, okay, so the brush is way smaller than I thought it would be. It just comes in this little carrying case and it is a, appears to be a synthetic brush with like a uh silicone tip here and then this just brush over here so you can 
I guess use that however way you like, or you could use your fingers the old fashioned way. So comes with that. And then it just comes with the big, uh, 3.5 ounce tube of glam glove. So bought that. I thought that was a really good deal. I just think it's really, it's just smarter to come in this packaging anyways. So really was excited about that. Then I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury gift set. I've never used anything by Charlotte Tilbury because well, they don't have it at Sephora, so I've never gotten samples or anything like that, but I've heard really great things about the her Magic series. And so this is the Magic, the Gift of Magic skin. And what it comes with is, uh, it was $75, it's valued at $133. It comes with a full-size container of the Magic Eye Rescue Cream. So it's just a pot of eye cream. And then it comes with the Magic Night Cream, which is a fairly large sample size, and the Magic Cream. So the packaging is really pretty on these. I am excited to give those a try. I have a lot of skincare going on right now in my, in my bathroom, but um, I'll be playing around with these for sure. Let me know if you guys, what you guys think of Charlotte Tilbury. I also was eyeing the a uh, healthy glow like moisturizer which is such just supposed to give you like a healthy glow tint uh, to your skin I was thinking about that for Sri Lanka because I currently use the Lancome tint idol uh, foundation but I don't really need I don't always need foundation and I don't want to bring it to Sri Lanka with me like it's just going to be unnecessary and we're gonna be hot all the time so I just kind of wanted something like a tinted moisturizer type thing so if anybody has used that please let me know your recommendations or not uh, I was thinking about ordering that and then last thing from Nordstrom are these uh, are pel the last thing I got are these uh, room diffusers and it's by the brand archipelago I think botanicals and I've seen their stuff in Barnes and Noble before and then I guess they carried it at Nordstrom as well a friend gave me a candle in the scent agave sage at a housewarming party once and so last year during the anniversary sale these were $25 they're originally 38 uh, and I just was like oh I really love that scent I'm gonna order a diffuser and I still have that diffuser it still has this much liquid in it um, it's definitely not as potent as it once was but this is a year old and it's still going strong. I keep flipping these just to kind of like use it up faster. But when you first take this out for the first like six months, it's so potent, like in a good way. And it just makes your house smell amazing. So I got the Agave Sage again. And then I also picked up the Lavender Thyme because I am a huge lavender fan. This smells really lovely as well. So uh, I'm excited about that. That's everything from Nordstrom. Now for Target. I picked up the Pixie Glow Tonic. I've heard not I I've heard people talk about this, but I don't know what. And I've been in the uh, you know, cleansing with just Cetaphil and then like I'll take a cotton pad and use some sort of toner to just get the rest of my makeup off. Sorry, there's like hair all over me. Uh, but I wanted to try this one, so I gave it a go. It's a little pricey. It's 15.99 for this teeny bottle, which pretty small for Target, but I'm going to give it a try because it just looked nice and I was running out of, um, I've been using the First Aid Beauty Radiance pads, which kind of does the same thing. So I had that from a sample set. So I'm almost done with those. So I wanted to give these a go. So I picked up that from Target. I picked up a bunch of sample things, which I won't show you because it's boring. And then I picked up a Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Ultra Radiance number 15 sunscreen I have I'm bringing away two spray bottles of 30 with me and then I have this which is definitely a lower number but um, this smells really good and sometimes it's just nice to have a lotion as well I usually like to start the day with like a lotion and then spray with the other stuff and the spray goes so freaking fast lastly from Target is the dress and I've had this dress for a little bit I didn't get it today so I just wanted to show it to you guys because if it's still in store it's probably on sale now but this was $29.99 it's by the exhilaration brand and it is my sister bought this dress and then my other sister bought it in white and then I bought it so we all have the same dress now but it's a maxi dress it has just these little shoulder 
uh, thing. So it's like off the shoulder, but it also has these spaghetti straps, which are adjustable. It's um, very, very pretty. I just got the black floral one. It has a button detail down the middle, but the buttons themselves don't open or anything like that. It has a slit in the middle. It's very long, so I need to either wear wedges, but I'm gonna ask my mom to hem it for me. Uh, and then it has a zip down the side. So I wore this to a rehearsal dinner last week and I wore it for a night out a couple weeks ago. So absolutely love this dress. It's adorable on and it's really nice quality. So that's everything from Target. Lastly, uh, stuff from Flying Tiger. Flying Tiger. Flying Tiger is a store from Copenhagen and they have them all over the world now. They kind of remind me of a mix between Ikea. I mean, it reminds me of Ikea, just like small home goodsy, random ass stuff that you don't need, but then you end up spending $40 in there is, is what happened to me today. So I'll show you what I got. Literally, this stuff is really silly. But um, the first thing I bought was this canvas. I don't need this, but I bought paint too. I'll try to explain why. Uh, but I was just like, oh, I'll just buy a canvas in case I feel creative and want to make something. This was $4. Then I bought acrylic paint. I bought acrylic paint because I have um, a lot of plants in my apartment. As you can see one right here. I save pots and I reuse them and I give them away. And forever I've had a couple that I've just wanted to paint and I keep like, I'm not in Michael's ever. I just forget about it. These were all like in a line in my face and I was like, oh, we'll just buy them. They were $2 each. So I bought a teal one. I bought like a neon pink one. I bought a neon yellow one and then I bought this purple one. So I bought all of those and then I bought these brushes, which are probably cr kind of crappy, but bought them anyways. Uh, then I bought these. This was $4. It's a travel jar set. I have some from Muji that I really like of these and I hope that they're the similar kind of quality, but, uh, they're just twist jars and they come in different sizes. So you can put, like I use uh, Pond's Cold Cream to remove my makeup and it's in a big jar, but having it in one of these is, is a lot easier to travel with. So uh, each of these, oh, this is nice. It comes with like a little seal at the top. So if you want to use that and then it's just a twist lid. So three different sizes, the big one, medium size one, and the small one, so I figured I'd use this for my trip for like lotions and the cold cream and things like that. So I just got those. Then I bought these bouncy balls um, for my dog, my, my family's dog. Uh, we have two of them and one of them really likes these little bouncy balls. He doesn't choke on them, he just like kind of holds it in his mouth and like runs around. I'm not sure if these are the kinds that he likes, but my mom used to get these like kind of soft ones from the dollar store and then she stopped being able to find them. So they're $2. So I figured I would just buy them and bring them home to her and she can do whatever she wants with them. Um, then I bought why I don't know a self adhesive R because my name is Rachel. I thought it was nice. Then I bought a doorstop for work. I have a, it's cheese, so I thought that was really cute. But I have, uh, I have uh, a makeshift doorstop right now. Like somebody just taped some things together for me to stick under the door. And I was like, oh, this is nicer. So I got that. And what else? I got this picture frame, which I think was overpriced. This was $4 but I'm going to put probably a card or something in there. I, have, I always have things that I want to frame. Then I picked up these magnets. I just thought they were really cute. And two postcards, which are like holograms, holo, holograms. Yeah. So just these little bug things that are under uh, some rain and then this Fox, which so it just kind of changes colors. That one doesn't do that much. I thought these were cute. So I got those and then I bought candles and now that I'm in my apartment, I bought candles for that guy back there. This, my candelabra, which is like one of my favorite things ever. I don't know what I was thinking, but there's four candles in there. And so I bought three of each color. That was stupid on my, my part, but I'll have to go back and buy 
one more of each, but they they had a lot of candles, like lot, every color you could ever imagine, like multiple shades of blue, multiple shades of purple, like all these awesome colors. So I bought black for the Halloween season because that's going to look really awesome with black candles. I also bought like neon pink because that's also going to look awesome in there. I bought regular white for when I'm feeling basic. And I bought this like teal blue color because I thought that would look nice as well. But I only have three of each, so now I have to go back there. So that is everything that I got. I know this is a very random video and haul, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.